Hey everybody, like I said during the video, after a strenuous weightlifting workout, you want to add protein to, to your muscles to help them rejuvenate, recuperate, and grow. And sometimes you don't feel like messing around with chicken breast or eggs, or it's a late workout and you don't want to run the blender and wake up the whole household. So what I like to do is go to Walmart and I will buy Quest Bars. They come in a lot of different flavors. They have a low net carb and they have over 20 grams of protein and they come in a bunch of different flavors. This happens to be double chocolate. This happens to be cookies and cream. And these are what I really love from Quest is so many people get stuck and one of the biggest things that was my thing is is I was a big potato chip guy. Well obviously you can't have potato chips on any kind of diet to lose weight. So a lot of people were always stuck with boring old pork rinds which after a while you know you just get sick of you know um so finally crust is one of the only places that i've known to have something like this and of this quality and they have chips and these happen to be sour cream and cheddar and these are barbecue which are actually my favorite and they offer you over 20 grams of uh of protein so that is like awesome to have and especially if you need you always want to have as much water as you can so Quest bars, Quest protein, they also have shakes, uh, there's other products, uh, but these are like my two go-tos when you just don't feel like messing around and cooking, but you know you need to get that protein in after a workout. So give them a try, I get mine at Walmart, and they're crunchy, they're tasty, I really don't notice the difference in uh, anything else. They're good stuff, and... Uh, and it's nice to have that feeling of some little bit of sodium and uh, makes me want to drink some more water. So, excellent. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Fatten 50 and I'm doing a video outside today on Tuesday afternoon about 2 o'clock in beautiful Newfield, New York. It's just outside of Ithaca and today I'm deciding it's almost 83 degrees they say on a crazy day in uh, yeah, October. and. Um, Figured I'd just do some outside things today instead of going to the gym. I might as well enjoy the great outdoors. And I wanted to just do a little question and answer thing right here. A lot of people have been asking just what have I been doing to lose the 100 pounds so far. Now everybody's different. That's what you have to, to uh, remember. I'm out here with my dog Callie. So if you see a little dog's face, there you go. Say hi Callie. Say hi to the camera. Hi, hi. My name is Callie. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Yay. So I'm going to get uh, right into some of the things that you do. First of all, you want to cut, cut out sodas. You want to cut out processed foods. You don't want to go for those quick bag of chips. You don't want to go for those microwave hamburgers. You don't want to go for that, uh, obviously, that candy and that ice cream and stuff, okay? Um, you want to... Uh, get activity, increase your activity. Obviously, if you can work out, that's the best, but just increasing your activity from where you were to doing more and then increasing it, that's the goal. Remember, this isn't a diet. This isn't a thing that you start and you stop. It's gonna be a journey for your entire life. And also remember that each and every one of us are different. You might be female, I'm male. You might be uh, just a, wanna lose a few pounds. I got a, a load to lose. I've lost 100, I wanna lose another 100. So this is not something that I say, oh, I've accomplished my goal and you've never seen me again. This is my life. 50 years old, this is going to be my life for forever. Um, and that's cool, man. I lived the first 50 years doing whatever I wanted. Now I'm paying for it, but it's a good way. I feel good already. So, portion control. Now you want to learn something about macros. And that's something that you... you want to, first of all, you want to get into YouTube. Watch out for gimmicks. Everybody's going to have a gimmick. There is no gimmick other than ca exerting more calories than you bring in. You're going to find there's a table to find out how many calories you want to start with. Okay? I, I forgot what it's, the exact acronym is. It's like TDEE or something. But I can, I'll find the link and I'll post it. Um, and, but I want you to study up on it because this, this video could go for three hours and I don't want it to. People are asking me, what are you doing? Exercising more, watching my portion control, eating healthier, 
whole foods, more vegetables, um, watch your fruits, stay away from fruit juices because you'll just see really high sugar content. You're better off going for the grapefruit, having the apple, and actually grapefruit is better, having your, your melon, your cantaloupe and your honeydew, and don't overdo it. It doesn't matter what you have, you still want to have portion control. Just because something is low calorie doesn't mean you want to have a ton of it. You want to increase your exercise, like I said, eat healthy, get a good supplement, okay? Um, we're all different, uh, male, female. I have a lot to lose. You may only have a few pounds to lose. You may have some medical conditions. I have some medical conditions. So there's different factors that you want to take into account and talk to your doctor about as well. Like one of the things is very healthy is to eat dark greens. I'm on warfarin for the blood clots um, that I have, and uh, I can't get into a lot of that vitamin uh, K, I believe, or is it vitamin K? I'm not sure. But I can't have the deep dark greens, a lot of kale and things, because of the uh, mixing with my blood thinner medicine. It doesn't do, doesn't do any good. Um, you want to eat some high fiber foods, help your digestion get focused. That's really mind over matter is the big thing. Of course you want to drink a lot of water. You say, well, if I'm addicted to soda, you have to get over that mind over matter. The first time when somebody says something like, um, you got to cut out soda, you'll hear, oh my God, I got to have my Diet Pepsi, or I got to have my Coke, or I got to have my coffee. I can't live without my coffee. Have your coffee. Just don't drink as much. Drink it early so you get some sleep at night. I know if you know me personally, I'm the last person to say that and talk about being a hypocrite, but that's just the way it is. But when it comes to soda, you can't say, ooh, I'm gonna, I can't live without my Coke. Don't think ordering that glass of orange juice at the, at the restaurant is a healthy thing, because it has a lot of sugar. Order that ice water, ask for a lemon wedge, ask for lime, it's okay. Um, protein, those are really into that keys. body when you're done within a half hour, 45 minutes after that workout, if not sooner. And I'll show you some of the, couple of the quick products that I do use um, at, in this video, I'll probably uh, put it toward the front of the video, and uh, that's really the key. So, what did we talk about really quickly? And I know I rambled on, and forgive me, but I wanted to do something quick while it was beautiful out. You can see what the, my backyard looks like um, as far as the hills go, and the colors are changing, and things look really nice. And there's my dog. Speaking of fiber, <laughs> he's executing what I'm talking about. Are going to be. Um, so, portion control, drink a lot of water, eat healthy, mind over matter. You got to say focus, you got to say this is what I want to do, this is my goal, make short term goals. Don't say I want to lose 100 pounds in a year. Even though that might be your goal, focus on saying I want to lose two pounds this week. In the very beginning, What's going to happen is if you stay focused and you do everything that you're supposed to do, you are going to lose a fair amount of weight in the first week or two, okay? Um, I don't want to say what that is. It could be three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. Some of that's going to be water weight. I think in my first week or week or two, I think I lost like 12 pounds. And I thought, oh my God, 12 pounds every two weeks for the rest of my life? This will take no time. No, it'll drop quickly. Your mind will play a trick on you and say, oh, I'm failing, I did something wrong. No. The beginning was a lot of water. The good part of that is, is that if you continue doing what you're doing and you still lose two pounds a week, especially, <laughs> especially if you um, have a lot to lose and you're losing two pounds of weight, it's going to help with the extra skin. That's something that I'm going to be dealing with at one point, hopefully in a year or so. Um, you also want to know that that might be really true fat loss as opposed to just being water loss. So stay focused, stay mental, mentally geared to your goals. Short term goals also, if you find a piece of clothing that's tight or you can't quite get there, make that your goal and before you know it, you're wearing them. I got a ton, I got stuff. That's unbelievable. I got stuff that I could, I got to hear, and you've heard me saying before. I'm going to do a fashion show someday. That I got to hear, I couldn't button that are brand new pants. 
that I probably never could button that now I have really, they're almost unwearable because they're too big. I had to call my dad, who's 86 years old, and ask if he's got a leather hole punch that I can bring up next time I come up to visit in Orchard Park to see if he can punch some extra holes because I'm this far past on my smallest belt that I own, this, this far past the last hole. So it can work, but you have to stay mentally geared. You got to be diligent. It didn't take you uh, overnight to gain it. It's not going to take you overnight to lose it. This is Daryl Fadden 50. We got this. Thank you. Please like, please subscribe. I appreciate your uh, diligence in uh, me rambling on. I'll do a little bit of editing so I don't ramble. If I lo look a little segmented in the video, that's because I rambled too long. Thank you. I love you.